like an instrument or like a medical device that um that's supposed to tell you if your child has pneumonia or whatever and she actually won the pitch so she won ten thousand dollars and also my girl meme was out there too yes hey how are you <laughs> she was pitching her natural club 
Yes. yes. And fresh from hair products. Yes. I'll say. But yeah, if you guys watch her YouTube video before, she was also a YouTuber. She doesn't really do YouTube anymore, but like she always used to make natural hair products at home. And I remember doing her avocado deep conditioner because we actually swapped swapped hair routines before, and I did her avocado deep conditioner, and it was amazing. So like now. That's kind of what she does, and it's actually her like full time, her own business, and like she's a boss lady. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm actually with her for like the rest of the day, and we're actually gonna go out to eat right now. We're gonna get some Thai food. This is like my first time trying Thai food, so it should be interesting. About to go to, I don't know where we're going. We're about to go to um, this restaurant called the Dish Society, but the general manager at the Dish Society used to be my former boss when I was bartending at the tasting room. So, oh, you didn't say all that. Yeah, but that's what I meant. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go eat some lunch, and he has some stuff to tell you later. Oh you man, know? trust man, shots fired. Bah, bah. All that. <laughs> Look at the puppies. Look at the puppies. Those are hairy dogs that you Ew. hate. Coming soon to a vlog, then you're taking Shanice to the dog pound to introduce her to petite puppies. Because I want one. Alright y'all, so look at my food. I got I salmon. It looks so good with quinoa. Okay. Um, yeah. Rice, macaroni, chicken. And what is this? Love it. This is truffle macaroni and cheese. Hey guys, the next stop is the tasting room. This is where Brian used to work, like when I first started dating him. Um, yeah, he used to get a lot of wine from here. And this is why he's so good at his wine selection. It's closed. There's people in there. I got so I got beef. Started yesterday. Um, I went to this place that I, I actually kind of liked a little bit. It's called Just Mac, right? Uh, it's a place where you got gourmet style macaroni and whatnot. And I had the most unbelievable, awful experience in customer service that I ever experienced in my life. Um, I actually have six years of bartending serving in um six years of bartending and serving experience within the industry so i was pretty appalled um i actually got the receipt right here somewhere all right so i got the the uh receipt here so i i came yesterday to uh just mac it was uh march the 12th at 6 33 p.m so i just drove from austin all the way to houston and i said you know what i'll stop by just mac and get some macaroni and so what I ordered was, I ordered uh, one pound of the all-American uh, macaroni and cheese, which comes with 
breadcrumbs and it comes with onions and it comes with uh, ground beef and macaroni and all that so I, I ordered and right here on my order I ordered um, one pound cheeseburger um, cheese macaroni and cheese with no breadcrumbs and no onions is right here on the receipt you can't see it but I'll get Shanice to take a picture of it and put it up there so I ordered this and I ordered an extra one for my brother and so I ordered an extra one for my brother and upon arriving to my brother's apartment who stays in downtown Houston so we're eating the uh, macaroni and cheese he opens his mind you I don't eat bacon for uh, religious preference and I'm allergic to bacon um, what I would believe and um, apparently my brother's macaroni who also doesn't eat bacon is little tiny pieces of bacon so I said man they put bacon on yours so I'm, I had to enjoy my food without him enjoying his food so I, I get you know um, just Mac and I call him on the phone to explain to him that bacon is at the top of the crust on my brother's macaroni that I ordered and I paid eleven dollars and seventy five cents for this macaroni so I called them and immediately they're contesting whether or not there's bacon actually on the macaroni and cheese so I'm calling them and they go to the cook and say that well the cook said he didn't put bacon on it and I said ma'am I'm looking at bacon right now traffic when traffic subsides, I'll be right back up to Jess and Mac to prove to you that there's bacon in it. And I would request a refund and I would actually like uh, this order to be remade for me. So upon uh, driving back to Jess and Mac and I get into Jess and Mac and I give them my order. She takes it immediately to the back, finds out there's in fact bacon on it. She comes back to the front, gives me my refund. After I'm waiting for my refund, I said, um, can I get my order remade for me uh, the proper way with my refund? I feel like that would be um, the bare minimum of what you can do to achieve customer satisfaction since you got my order wrong. She goes back to the kitchen and she explains to me that the chef is in charge. I hear the chef in the back say, no, he's not going to make me another macaroni and cheese. Being that I worked in the industry for six years, it's, it's, it's pretty um, simple that not only would they comp what I paid for the macaroni, it was that they would give me a brand new macaroni the proper way in which I ordered it. So after hearing the chef say no, she comes back up to the front and say, yeah, he said he wouldn't make another one. So I requested to speak to him. Uh, he would not come up to the front uh, to speak with me which I found odd, and he was very arrogant um, to yell from the back of the kitchen to say that I wouldn't make him another one, especially when patrons were in the restaurant, correct? So I asked to speak to him. I said I would like to request the, the, um, the information of the manager so that I could reach out to him to rectify this issue. Uh, he was very rude. He looked like uh, Big Crit and Ivan News had a baby. That's exactly what he looked like. Um, I took a picture of him. He got outraged that I took a picture of him because he would not identify himself. And so I said, I need to identify you to the management that you're working here and denying that my order be made. Um, so he was saying that it was a federal offense, that I took a picture of him or whatnot. Mind you now, this this person that worked at Just Mac um, told me that his name was Tony. Then he switched that his name was Anthony. So now I asked him and explained my issue. He questioned me so hard as far as it was only a few pieces of bacon in the macaroni. I was appalled at this point because I was saying not only do I have religious beliefs that instruct me not to eat pork, I'm actually allergic to pork. And so he says, are you religious or are you allergic to pork? And I said both. I have 65 KDA, uh, which is actually the protein derived in the pork. Um, has effects on my immune system and so i explained that to him and then he seemed um like wow i didn't know you actually had an uh, allergy or whatnot even from that point he did not proceed to make me another one i asked him for the manager's information i asked him he provided me with an email address that said info at justmac.org or dot com i said that was not sufficient i need your manager's name and number he gave me the manager's name and number before he could write down the manager's name and number he proceeded to call the manager in the middle of our dispute to try to attempt to save face that was so unprofessional 
uh, by any restaurant or food organization belonging in uh, achieving customer satisfaction. Um, it was it was troubling for me to hear that he was calling his manager in the middle of me trying to rectify my issue. Upon leaving a restaurant, which he denied um, any uh, wrongdoing on his staff and said that it was only a few pieces of bacon that I should have been fine with my meal. Um, upon calling the manager, the manager was also very unprofessional in arguing with me, saying that uh, there's customers that try to get over him on $11.75 exactly. Me driving up there after traffic subsided was much more expensive than $11.75. And so I get there and he's like, we got thousands of customers a day and everybody wants free food. I said, sir, I paid $29 for my first order. I made a second order for $11.75. Why would I, what would I have to gain for getting a meal for $11.75 for free? Not only was he not um, concerning as far as my issue uh, being allergic to swine, swine wasn't even in the ingredients to the All-American Burger. So I was totally thrown off with how below average that they wanted to go as far as a, uh, achieving an adequate customer experience. I was very appalled um, and I would wish that everybody would never go to Just Mac again in their lives due to the customer service. I know I feel like Mo Monique talking about Netflix right now, but as far as somebody that's an advocate for Just Mac, I love Just Mac. But the fact of the matter is I was treated less than a actual customer due to the content on my skin, to be quite frank. Uh, it was actually a black gentleman that worked there, and I guess um, he felt that because I was made in his image that I wasn't able to complain about a meal in which I purchased. Um, <clears throat> I'm just distraught by that and my feelings are hurt um, <laughs> I want to reach out to uh, HR about this issue because yeah it's 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 something that's very uncomfortable for me to relive again but at the same time stuff like this needs to be said about people that go spend good quality money at bus at, at businesses like just Mac. I'm not from Houston so for me to drive from my home in Austin to go to Houston and one of the few places I want to stop is Just Mac and they weren't able to go above and beyond and ensure that quality customer service was met is 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 very disheartening and I no longer will go to Just Mac and, and support their business anymore due to the level of, of customer service that, that I received. And Shanice can tell you I'm always an advocate of Just Mac. Was I was I not? Yeah, he put me on. I put her on the Just Mac. And so for, for our first meal to be Just Mac when we get to Houston, like what? And yeah. they treat you like that? They treated me like that. He came in the car and I was like, what happened? Like he was so quiet and then I just hear him get on the phone and he starts talking to the Yeah, and the manager yeah. was was kind of arguing with yeah, me. Yeah, that's what I was and, like, why is it, and, why do I hear him through the earphone? Yeah, yelling? he was arguing with me, yelling. His voice was uh high above the threshold of where it's it's a, a a good wholesome conversation on the phone and he was basically defending the the cook at the restaurant when me i spent a lot of money at just smack and he was not uh concerned for me having um an opportunity to have a a, a big big allergic outbreak to like something how, yeah like how hard hard is it just to make a new meal that's perfectly fine without bacon and yeah. comp the meal yeah. how hard is that it's not hard enough and being that i worked in a restaurant for six years it's easy to say you know what we are bad you yeah. know we almost caused you a great al allergic risk uh because bacon isn't even the in the ingredients in the all-american burger and for me to find um, little straight pieces of, of bacon is not only a health concern within that establishment but for you to um, basically have me drive all the way up there to prove that there was bacon on top of the macaroni in which I told you on the phone basically I drove all the way over there for me to prove to them that there was actually bacon debris on my macaroni for them to in turn give me a refund. So instead of giving me a refund, a refund and actually making my macaroni the way that I desired it to be, 
was appalling and it's the main reason that I will never go to Jess Mac again. So Jess Mac, uh, I, I, you know, you guys just did a, a, a bad thing because now over half a million people will get to know about my experience and Shanice's experience at Jess Mac. That's, that's absolutely crazy. Well, and, baby, on this channel, all we have like a hundred thousand, less than a hundred thousand. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Shame on you, Just Mac. I was a, I was one of your biggest supporters. I used to tell everybody in Austin about Just Mac, and the manager, and the cook who was supposedly in charge of the restaurant was highly rude. And then he tried to call the manager to save face. I'm pretty sure that the human resources department, the general manager, the owner of Jess Mac would not be satisfied how you guys treated uh, a customer, a, a diehard customer in Jess Mac yesterday. And you lost a really good client. And you had an opportunity to get your, your establishment in front of nearly 100,000 people. That's bringing you in business, that's bringing you in customers, and I am truly hurt and offended, and no matter how much I like Just Mac, I would never ever have Just Mac again because of the experience that I experienced there yesterday. It's terrible. You have anything to add? No. So yeah, this is TG um, exposing Jess Mac, <laughs> and, and Jess Mac, I'll, I'll get the address for you real quick. Um, Dad. He said exposing. Yeah. So Jess Mack is at 106 West Timer Road uh, in Houston, Texas, um, 77006. So with that. Signing off. Signing off. Hey guys, what's up? So we just got back to the hotel. Um, Brian went back to his brother's house and I'm going out with my friend the J-Way. Well, that's what she's known as. On, on YouTube. I think she changed her name now though. But my friend Jay, Jamie. Um, I, you guys probably seen her in a bunch of my other vlogs when I came to Houston and stuff. She was like, literally every time I come to Houston, she's who I link up with, like that's my girl, that's my girl. Like if I lived in Houston, like we would be like, like this. But yeah, so I'm meeting up with her and we're gonna go, her and um, my sister-in-law, um, Alexandria, we're going to uh, something called Rose Gold or something like that I don't know uh, um, Jamie just told me that's the spot to go to today so we're gonna go there for some food and I guess some cocktails or drinks or whatever but y'all I bit my tongue and like it's at the bit it's at the side and it keeps scraping on my braces like the wire on my braces and it's bothering me so much but um yeah so we ended up we did so much stuff today but yeah i guess i will see you guys all later i'm just gonna watch some youtube videos i should actually be editing right now but i edit tomorrow on our drive back home to austin yeah that way i can probably finish both videos i can finish the vlog as well as my main channel video and i'll be good to go so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna see you guys when i head out hey guys so i just made it to my friend jamie's house okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also so my sister-in-law Alexandra, you guys probably remember her. Hey. Isn't she so cute? She's so cute. Let me see what you're pulling out the winter boots. You're pulling out the winter boots. Okay, what were your choices? What? I don't know why I had to wear heels. Okay, heels. I don't think I you need to do a big direction. Why not wear heels? Why not? Unless you could, <laughs> she, don't, she don't like wearing her shit thing. Because I was trying to dance. If your heels you be, you got me. See, then, then, then don't. Shoes, yeah, then wear I think you shoes. should. I want you to just match me, guys. I didn't bring no heels with me. I didn't bring no heels. Sneaker friendly, and I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, like people gonna be dressed like casual, like you, and then people gonna be dressed the fuck up. So what? For a fucking Tuesday. I don't know, right? Should I like make it like more casual and just wear my dirty Converse? Or wear boots or heels? No, they're flats though, so that'll work. Yeah, wear my boots. I know what I know. <laughs> I know what you mean. Said, just going outside. <laughs> I know. Because oh. all your heels are so high too. I know, and I can't dance. And these are just annoying. You like I just gotta keep tying you know? my damn shoe. I mean, I can, but this place is like it probably won't even be. <laughs> really? <laughs> so then wear your just wear your shoes then. Packed, and then the next week is is big. Uh, and then the next week, you. I like those heels with that. You no. Know. You think you just. <laughs> <laughs> She's so. I don't know. 
We was arguing the whole way here. All right. I, I, Everyone I, say shoe, and I'm gonna go with the. All right. Go. I'm gonna let her go first. No, no, no. You go first. <laughs> you go first, sissy. Oh shit. I said you should go with the boots. Heel, some kind of boot heel. Bitch. No, <laughs> that, that's not one. Okay, I think you should. <sighs> I mean, it's really. Hard. I don't it's think I want you to wear the Converse with that shirt. Yeah, yeah it's too, too dressy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like if you had another shirt. And I kind of want. I don't like. I wish I had some like but, sweats, like some cute sweats, joggers. Correct. Okay. Guys, this is the struggle. This is why it takes forever for females to be girls. Because they <laughs> never know what to wear. I mean, it is a club. But guys, this house like... is so beautiful. Like, do you see how big her closet is? Her what? closet is right, huge. Just put on Huge. Okay, because we have to... She has her own bathroom. Okay. Should I change my shirt? This is like an apartment store. I'm giving you guys literally like an apartment store. They just moved in yesterday, so everything's like messy. But like, this is so pretty. This is her room. This is Jamie's room, and then her sister's room is over here, and it's, it's even nicer. Like so much space. Her bathroom. They have like some areas to put towels and stuff. They have a shower. She has a tub, and she has a big ass closet too. Like these apartments are legit. And she said it's not even that much money, like for rent. So. Yeah, and it's in actually in a good area as well. Woo. But yeah, like I said, it's messy because they just moved yesterday and not everything is even here. She said the movers still have to come. Are you here? Did you figure it out? No, I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. She has a cute face ever. I know. Like, it's so, it's like a baby doll. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Today. Did you figure it out? You're doing the heel? But but Jamie, I love when you're dancing. You're just like, oh, hi. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'll dance with, I mean, I have heels on too, yeah. Yeah, we can pick up my heels. Oh, Nisi, I have to show you this video. Girl, come on. Oh, what? What? No! Hey, Jamie, what's up? Hey, Jamie, what's up? Hey, Jamie, what's up? Hey, Jamie, Just move it into the day. Hoping that you notice. Did you notice? I just want to say, I'm going 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 to say, Everybody got their food. Yeah, dry the Hey, look at my stomach. 
<laughs> yeah, now salt, ain't no salt and pepper and no grits. It's sugar. You put sugar in these grits. It's sugar in these grits. Sugar you literally had, that thing was full. Nah, it that was full to the top. Jesus. Yeah. 